Dear traders, in one more lecture I would like to give you some final tips about the historical data that are very important again. Now, probably from the last lecture you might wonder how this Forex historical data app is useful to me if I will be using different broker from Ducas Copy. And of course you can, don't take Ducas Copy or any other broker as a recommendation. I just want to explain you more about the data and how it's working. Now, if you have imported the data from this Forex historical data app, you can go to tools and then go to symbol settings, okay? From here, you can change the symbol settings for your broker accordingly. All right, so just go to the data, let's say Euro dollar, and from setting source, you can click on custom symbol settings and you can change the spread, you can change the swap and the commission, which will make this data work for your broker. This is how you can use the data from the Forex historical data app and use it to generate strategies for your broker. And I have tested it, it works, and I have showed it in a video in YouTube that when you backtest the strategy on your broker, it gives the very same results. If you have set the market information and the symbol settings properly. Now in the previous lecture, I have exported for the pound dollar, I have exported previously for the euro dollar and I will need to do it now for euro pound before I show you in the next lecture how I generate the strategies. So one more time, very quickly, load data and it downloads in a couple of seconds. I will download the one hour, the M30 and the M15. This is what I usually do as a routine, but in this course I will show you the one hour trading with expert advisors and then I go back to data and I will drop the files in the drop zone. After that, if I go back to the generator, I have the data from Ducas Copy for Euro Pound, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar and I have exported data for Dollar Yen and the Gold previously. This is why they are available here in the list. Now let me click on Euro Dollar and what you will notice below is that I have data of 84,505 bars or this is from 2007 until the moment 2020 over 13 years of historical data. This is too much according to me and according to my recent tests I saw that it's not really necessary to use so much of a historical data. It's great to have the data because you can test the strategy for a long time. Depends what time frame you will be using. For example, if you use H1 or daily, obviously it will be less bars, but for a longer period of time. And for hourly chart, I use five years of historical data. And how I can change that? I will go to data and I will click on data horizon. You have the option here to use start date limit and use end date limit. I will use start date limit and I am exactly on the date five years ago, 15th of July, 2015. Now, if I go back to the generator, you will see the difference. I have just 31,000 bars, which again is enough. And I have realized that recently after using EA Studio for so long time and I will tell you how I realized that. First, I always wanted to have strategies and expert advisors that are generated on more recent data. Alright, so I don't want to base my strategy from the data from 2007, 2008, 2009. That's too far back in time. I want to base the expert advisors to see a backtest on more recent historical data. And the reason I was using more bars, and this is what I show in most of my courses, but probably I will be updating them about that, is that my logic was that if I use more historical data, if I have more bars, 
I will have more count of trades for each strategy. If you have seen some of my other courses, you know that the count of trades are very important. The more count of trades we have, the more reliable is the strategy. And I'm very sure about that. But one more time, the logic I was following is that the more bars the expert advisor studio uses, the more count of trades I will have. But it turned out that the generator in EA Studio is so good that even when I have fewer bars, it generates strategies with many count of trades. And actually, my test showed that the less bars I have and the more count of trades I request from the generator, it gives me more active strategies. Okay, I will repeat that one more time. If I have fewer bars as historical data, imagine that, less bars, but at the same time, I want more trades from the strategy. What EA Studio does, it finds such strategies that are more active because having more count of trades in smaller period of time will be possible only with active strategies that open trades daily and this is what we want to see in algo trading we want to see active strategies and uh, this is really really amazing for ea studio because it allows me to first base my strategy on most recent historical data second generate me strategies with more count of trades and third it gives me the chance to trade with strategies that are active and the more active the strategies i will spend less time testing it before trading real account okay so in the next lecture i will show you how i'm generating the strategies and how i do that at the same time for euro dollar euro pound and pound dollar we'll see you right in the next lecture